tourism convention and tourism visitors bureau. Mm -hmm. uh, has anybody taken a chance to look over the minutes from our last meeting? Not me. I don't have them. <laughs> Did we have meeting minutes? Did we get something? Meeting? Minutes for Should tourism have been meeting. Email. There's in the back, the very back. No. Okay. You can tell I didn't see them then. <laughs> you didn't read your email. He's like, oh, I did. Just, I missed that. Tracy spends a lot of time typing those up. I, just, I missed that I one. I to see if I can find it. Yeah. <laughs> I have a great deal of faith in the people that prepare our minutes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's a motion from Bill. Do we have a second? Yes, yes it is. <laughs> I'll second. Uh, motion to second. All in favor? All right, now we'll go down to Carl's financial report he tried to give us earlier. Yeah, which I gave you already. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you see the report there, and, and your question earlier was the tax collection. So we've got February. We have we don't have March yet, so that's okay. So that $56,000 is as of the end of February. Um, and we get them on a monthly basis or uh, every couple of months, just sometimes Sarah's not able to draft a check. And she's been busy with the audit right now, so that's probably what's happened. And I did talk to Jay about the extra hotel motel taxes. He said he was almost positive the governor would sign it in July, so. Okay. okay. Is there an estimate on when that motel is going to go online? Uh, the general manager came by and met with us um, last month, and they're shooting for the end of June. So, so that'd be good. Okay, going on down to the number four, Old Business Tourism Advisory Board, and I believe Chris got a, or Sharon got us a, a slate of officers, is that right? Say to consideration. Consideration. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You all, you all had asked us to put together some recommendations, and so uh, from the key segments that we put together, Sharon uh, put this list together, folks that uh, would help. And just keep in mind, this group is to um, discuss tourism. Uh, in the city and things that are on the horizon, but also make recommendations to this group about, um, you know, what direction we should be going in as far as what things we should be featuring or if there's specific types of advertising that we should be considering. Uh, so they would kind of look at that as the people who are the actually the end users of the stuff that we do here. So uh, I think it's a, a, a plus for us because you're getting feedback from the people we're supposed to be helping. So... Who is the last one? General Public, Neville. Neville Bottom. Yeah, there you go. He, <laughs> he used to work with the um, Southeast Tourism Society. So tourism is his background. He left and started his own company, the Tourism Skills Group. And I thought because of the being the tourism, he would be a great asset because he knows, I mean, the ins and outs of tourism very well. Is he a, a local person? He lives right in Marietta. He lives in Marietta. He does live in Marietta. Is that a requ uh, pre uh, prerequisite to have to be a Villarican? Or? Um, I don't remember if we put any restrictions on that particular one or not. I thought it was just a general public person. So He lives in Marietta, did you say? Yes, sir. But he is willing to come to some meetings? And yes, sir. He was very um, open. He works all over. So he knows he's going to get the same um, amount of pay that we, we get. <laughs> Very aware of that. Okay. <laughs> Your bylaws say it's um, members, seven members who represent the business interests of the Villarica community appointed by the board. Um, and it says the advisory committee shall consist of one director, meaning the DBA director, or our tourism director, and six members of the community. So it's like that members of our community. Did you say Marietta? Marietta, yeah. That's yeah. Not, that's a stretch, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I mean, y'all can change these bylaws, but that's 
what they said, or you know, has to have some sort of relationship to the community, like a business relationship, or so. So is that iffy there, then, yeah. Stacy? Well, we can do if if I mean, if you all want us to identify another general public, well, I mean, we can definitely do that, but I think we can accept the other ones, and then we'll bring back at the next meeting a, a different person. So you need a consensus that we agree for? Well, yeah, I guess if we're, we're appointing these people to this committee. So that's five, then one from the DDA plus one yeah. general public, right? And, and we'll need to decide, you know, who you all want to put on the DDA on this committee. A good job for the new person that gets elected to the downtown development, looks like to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think since we're two members short, we need to wait until yeah. we fill those out okay. before we appoint some somebody. All right, so we're moving on down then, is that right? Well, I mean, we can go ahead and accept Bruce, these. Those yeah, five, yeah. and then we'll just DDA. fill in the right. general public and then DDA we, member. DDA, yeah. Right, so do we have a motion to approve the Hotel, the restaurant, the Pine Mountain Gold Museum, the Main Street Advisory Board, and the Parks and Rec. Do we have a motion to approve those? Are there names by the Yeah, way? they're named by them. Oh, you, you don't have the, yeah. No. <laughs> I didn't have it put in the email. Oh, I'm sorry. All I heard was Parks and Rec. I didn't get the tourism email. It's going to be a huge board, isn't it? It crashed. My server. I sent it, it at the same time. I, I, they were in two separate emails. Mike Clanton, Chet and Chu. Yeah. Wesley, Bernie and Jerry, Honey, Pine Mountains. That's crazy. Henry Kowalchuk. I don't know her, but let's see. I know her. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Oh, just a five, the first five. So we have a motion to approve those. So moved. I got a motion to have a second. I second. Motion and second. All in favor? Okay, we'll move on down to new business. Advertising billboard JHC. Is that your Chris? Yes, sir. Um, I'm glad Carl gave a good financial report because, uh, you know, we're going to, we are we're, we're really seeking ways to more aggressively advertise um, Villa Rica. And one of those things that we want to do is um, do some billboards uh, around coming into to Villa Rica. Um, we are actively looking for several locations, uh, trying to get two on I-20. They tend to be a tad bit pricey, so I'm trying to negotiate something more something that we can afford um, but these uh, billboards were considerably more than what we negotiated down um, we basically are paying $150 a month for one and then $200 for the other for 12 months uh, one of these is uh, coming out of the Fairfield community we've gotten um, as you know they also have a um, What is the thing there? Resort thing. Uh, Fairfield? Fairfield? Yeah, but they have the little... Wind, don't they have the Wyndham thing there? Pardon me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of the name of it. They have like some kind of yeah. Wyndham... At Fairfield, yeah. They're part of a resort kind of... Timeshare thing. Timeshare. Right now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> See, I knew I was a, I knew I was crazy. <laughs> There's always a lot of, well, they don't know what's going on in Villa Rica, so with the billboard, when they're coming in and out, you know, we'll have some way to promote what's going on downtown. And then the other one is further in Carrollton by the um, Dodge dealership. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, you know, there's thousands of people that travel up 61 to go to 20. So that will help us get some traction on that corridor, and then we'll be looking at other opportunities to put stuff. Um, so it's the rental rate, and then it's $250 production. So anytime we change the face of the billboard, it'd be a $250 production fee. That's for them to uh, print it and install it. So we're ta probably talking about six-month time period on... Well, one of the things that I thought that we could do is if we wanted to let other people use it, 
um, we would let them use it and then they would just pay the pay production them. fee. We would still pay the rent. But let's say if Parks and Rec wanted to put up something for the 4th of July, yeah. well, Parks and Rec would pay to have it <laughs> printed and installed and we would just allow them to use it. Um, same thing with the Thomas Dorsey board. If they wanted to promote the Thomas Dorsey Festival, they would just pay for the production That's cost right. uh, for it. And that way we can allow it. Like if Taste of Villa Rica wanted to use it, wh whatever the case may be, we'd make it available to people because it's beneficial to us because it brings people to Villa Rica, which is what we want to do. Um, and I think for the price, I mean, for billboards on 61, I, for two of them, $350 a month, I think, is a, a good deal. I mean, you pay more than that for newspaper. Yeah. So do we need a motion from... Yeah, because it's a uh, year contract. Yeah, we need a motion. So do we need a motion? It's a year contract, so you're talking uh, $4,200? Yeah. And it's all paid at one time? No, no, it'd be, we'd be billed monthly, monthly for it. So we'd, we, we would have to, you know, whenever we get... And that is for those two billboards, not anything on I-20? Just Not on I-20. I'm still trying to get and negotiate with a company because you know there's several companies on I-20 yeah. mm -hmm. and some of them are a little more uh, healthier than others. Yeah. What kind of quotes are you getting for the ones on I-20? It's like 2000 a month. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Question about another billboard about the one at Butterballs. Are we still getting? Yeah but you know it's like a thousand dollars a year or something like that for a ground lease so they just pay it once a year. Okay. And we should have already. I think we have. Yeah we got a yeah. check for this year already so. So do we have a motion to approve the two billboards on 61? I move. I got a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second. Motion to second. All in favor? All right. We'll move on down to number B, brochure. Uh, I just put in there for you all's consumption um, the sample brochure that the company sent back with our new imaging. And uh, I know since some of you all don't, if I email it to you, you don't <laughs> kind of pull it off, so I <laughs> put it in there, hoping y'all look at it and provide some feedback. Uh, I can also send an electric one again, electric copy of it, or electronic copy, rather, of it. Um, just for feedback and comments, um, you know, what you like, what you don't like. Same process we did with the logo. Um, so if you would, you know, say, hey, we left this out. If there's something we didn't think about that needs to be included, um, it you know it's important that we kind of get that feedback from the group. What is the timetable on these? I, I mean, we're we're really controlling the the time frame. I mean, it can go as fast or as slow as we want. We've been pushing a little faster because <clears throat> really the hold up up until this point was me. We were supposed to be done considerably earlier than this, but it's between DDA and Main Street and tourism. It's uh, taking a little bit of time. <laughs> I have to put stuff on a fire list and stuff that's hotter than others. So you don't need any action today on it? No, we don't need any action. This is just for information and okay. feedback from, from the from the DDA and just keeping y'all in the loop about what's going on. All right, so we'll move on then. Number six, public comment. Well, there's nobody left, I don't guess. Yeah. Items for future agenda. Anything on executive session? Yes, sir. Motion to adjourn. Motion. I got a motion to second. I think everybody's in favor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hang out here. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you.